All right. Blue's gonna go take Walsh through the woods and drive Better as fast as he can. Hey, what's going on my favorite bathrobe wearing light wand wielders? Today we're back here again with Jawless Hog. Well, actually, we're just continuing the same Jawless Hog we did before. And tonight we're going to be doing driving under night vision. So kind of the running joke from last time is whether or not we're going to run into something. So I guess we're going to see. I'm uh, pretty sure we're going to run into something. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we fall out. So again, as a reminder, these scenarios that we're doing are not entirely realistic. We get that, all right? Calm down, Ronnie. The reason why we're forcing ourselves into these scenarios is to learn the skills, use the tools that we're talking about with Jawless Hog during this trip. Again, just like last video, where we probably could have turned on our white light a lot faster, if, particularly if we're a police officer, or we could have just used red or blue. And again, this is the second part in our night vision tool series. I'll link up, I think over there, um, to the first video, where we actually use our helmet setup, learn how to use task lights and strobes and all those pieces. So if you wanna see that piece, you can watch that and then come see us drive under night vision. Yeah. All right, so from the TLD team, we wanna say a huge thank you to HRT, Jawless Hog for, for having us out here and letting us have some fun. Uh, Obscore for the helmet setup. We had Princeton Tech that hooked us up with, with lights. Nocturne came in clutch with night vision. So we wouldn't be able to do this video without all those those folks helping us out, we just very grateful for their, their support. Yeah, so big, big thanks. So we got told that Blue is waiting for us to give us instruction outside. So let's go out there. Domino, domino, domino. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get into nighttime driving. The nighttime driving, I think, is one of the funner things to do. I realize it's not very realistic for civilians, and it may not be realistic for the LE, especially the SWAT guys, depending on what your mission set might be. It could be. If you're gonna do it, there's a couple things we need to work on. We need to make sure we black out to the best of our ability, the headlights, any dash light or radios inside your vehicle. And then you probably wanna start blacking out a little bit of the tail light. Tail lights don't have to be blacked out all the way, but we do wanna black them out or dim them as much as we can. I typically like to use painter's tape. You can just go to Lowe's or somewhere to pick up a big roll of painter's tape. And it doesn't leave a residue. It peels off real easy. It doesn't damage anything. Uh, for me, on my personal side-by-side, -side, painter's tape during the night vision time of the year it just stays on all season. Season's done. I peel it off because it's too hot to ride uh, nighttime. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to sort of show you what I do with the painter's tape to start making those areas blacked out. So a key note to think about when you're putting the painter's tape on, you need to get certain colors of painter's tape. A darker color would be better, your blue, your greens. You might have to layer it one or two times. If you don't, you can still use like a duct tape or a black electrical tape. However, because it's a stickier type of tape, you wanna put it over top of it. That way, when you peel your tape off, you don't have any uh, sticky residue uh, stuck to your odometer. So on this particular side-by-side, -side, I could turn the front lights off so we don't need to tape up anything on the front. And then on the back, I didn't tape up the whole entire light, just tight tape up a portion of it because the light's not gonna impede our night vision at all, especially since we're gonna be looking forward. We just wanna dim it down a little bit. And that's what I did on the back. All right, so it seems like Blue has the Polaris set up for night vision driving. I guess the next big thing is, what, what's the trick to it? What, what do we do differently than regular driving? Uh, basically, you just go out and drive. There's no real trick. The depth perception with the night vision, which I think you've already saw, is difficult. So you gotta keep the head on the swivel. You have to look in front uh, as far as you can and make sure you don't drive over anything. Let's the see. depth perception is just a, the key to all this. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. All right, so I, I guess the thing that we need to remember to do is it's so you're constantly having to pan because you have that toilet paper tube view. Yep. So you're really gonna have to keep looking around everywhere. Now, my question is, and, and this is a little bit different because it has a windshield, but would there be a time on something like this where you would wanna use IR illuminators or strobes, a lot of what we practiced on the first video. Yeah, so if you do anything, anything like that in there, you're gonna get blinded. Any light going forward is gonna reflect off the glass and it's gonna blind, not blind you totally, but it's gonna bloom real bad. It's gonna, it's just, 
sucks. <laughs> so I would just suggest not to do that. Uh, it's definitely, definitely with the, the strobing lights and all that, it's not needed. Uh, the, and even being in that, it's not fully taped up. There's gonna be some light poking out and may, we may not be able to see it too clear right now, not under night vision, but when, when you get your night vision on, you'll see the light still trying to poke out. And we we put a little bit of this, uh, you know, the black electrical tape on there. So it is what it is. So then you magnify that with a, an IR strobe or a, you know, IR light going forward. It's a lot. Mm, all um, right. Okay, I'll go grab Jason. We're going to finish suiting up and we're going to go drive around and see what lessons we can learn and try not to try not to crash this thing. Want to be the first time. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Let's get in. Yeah. Uh, I decided already. Uh, Jason's driving first. I feel like I got a big thing on my head. Yeah. Oh. Now. Okay, ready? You just step on a brake or anything? Well, okay, you're gonna turn it on first, then go dark? Cool. All right. You ready? Let's All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, fellas, have fun. Ooh, how's that? It's not terrible. You can barely tell what we're seeing. Yeah, so the depth perception is definitely off. You definitely got to look around. So the helmet, just the jostling of driving around, I'm going to go off road a little bit here to make a U-turn, is like shaking, shaking my helmet around. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at how much more challenging it is when you have other lights in the distance. Yeah, that is that that's makes really it, painful. Yeah, that makes it very difficult. Now, I will say this though, when the lights were behind me, there was a reflection on the windshield. Oh and yeah. It made it hard to see under the windshield. So hey, I want you to see this. Okay, stop for a second. Okay? The windshield itself, if you look outside the windshield, I can see so much better. Oh yeah. That's kind of crazy. Cause like I'm actually having a little bit of trouble seeing through the windshield because it itself is cutting some of the light, but I'm not having issues. Like, am I going to hang out the whole way? Like, here we go. Yeah. The, so the way that I would explain it is I can almost see like individual grass blades outside if I'm not looking through the windshield, but then looking through the windshield, it's very dull. Like I can't see individual, it, it's cutting off that, uh, what would you call that? Not distinction, but that clarity, I guess. Yeah. Very interesting. You see if you can navigate between the cars. Okay. Slowly. Something's blinking over there. It's like, I think it's lightning. Oh, now where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, we're going over here. Oh. I don't know where we're going. I don't think there's a path over here. We're having fun though. So Jason's asking me if we should go down the trail, okay? So I'm like, here's the trail. He wants to know if we're gonna go down the No! Why not? It's, I can't see a thing down there. Okay, so. Oh, now I can see. Is that the headlights? No, that's my IR. Oh, is it? Yeah, but then. Here. Oh, see, okay, now, now hey, through the windshield. This helps. Look at this. this helps you. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but look at the, it's like a mirror, dude. Yeah, look how helpful that is. Oh, uh, let's test one th other thing. What's I that? got you. What if we use, what if we use strobes? It's actually, that's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. Compared to how it was CQB, like being indoors, that's, that's not really anything. That's not, that's not nearly as annoying. But look at this, like, okay, okay. that trail looks, looks navigable. Let's, let's. Let's see if we can go down there. Oh. You'll see a cut out to your left. It'll dip you down to where that bridge was. Oh, okay. We'll get a little close. We'll just drive up to it and then I'll get out and walk back. Keep on going, you're good. Just go slow. All right, so we were directed on where the trail is. Oh, whoa. Can you see anything? Um, no, I can't. The hell? Ah, I got a tree coming. 
Is that helpful? Yeah. What if I turn it off? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> so what are you using right now? Okay, hold on, you're dipping down. <laughs> I'm using the, the stream light. Okay. What if I turn that off? Oh, you can't, I can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here, let me, uh, let me have a turn. Okay. Is this horrible? It's pretty bad. All right, let's... It looks like it's an open path. We'll be okay. All right. Cool. Here we go. I think I have a light on. Do I have a light on? Yeah, yeah. you do. There you go. Oh, it's going to be even crazier because I can't turn on my outboard light. Oh, but I could do this, though. I could cheat. Ah, oh, There you go. Where's the pedal? Yeah, so you can see when you look outside, it's fine. When you're looking inside, the it's so bright that it's... Yeah, so this dark canopy, man, look at this. With yeah, no man. light, it is I'm impossible. just like, I'm just like guessing where we're going. I think you're gonna need to go a little bit to the right. Hey, oh, I'm gonna yeah. try something weird. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna flip up one eye. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, no. So people who oh, ask wow. you about driving with just one, oh, I can't make sense of anything. Nope, nope, no, two. nope. Two nope. is way better. Two. Oh my god! Okay, do you see that there's like a white yeah, tree branch it. or something in the... Yeah, my eyes, are, my eyes are actually getting used to it now. There's a tree to our right, you're kind yep. of close. Yep, there's the ones that are a little bit to our left also. Okay. Yep. Whee! Yeah, golly. Oh, there's the tractor. So just go to the left of that tree. Left. I think this is the house to the left. Is that a path? I think so. I can't tell. Dude, this is like... This is crazy. Look underneath your nods and how dark it is. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's insane. And so, something I want to tell people is the yeah, canopy. Right. The canopy makes it crazy because you get some space where you can see and some you can't see anything. Yeah, so here we are. Like, the canopy's not as bad as it was. And you can see, okay, you can see the moon over there or whatever that is. And I think there's a trail to your left. Yeah, I see it. Barely. What's up yeah. to my right? Anything? Nothing? No, bush. Oh, God. Oop, I'm almost in the trees. Oh, well, yeah, like I'm Sorry. Right, I'm right in the bushes. Oop, I don't think I'm on a trail anymore. Nope. I'm going to stop. Check, check where you are with your light. Your light does a better job of... Be able to, to blast. I can't tell if this is a trail or not. I think we need. A, I think the trail is behind us. I think you're right. Is this anything? Okay, you're going too far to the right. You gotta. You gotta. Crank it to the left. I don't know where we're going. Okay, so stop. Okay, let's get out and look. I think this is a trail. Yeah. It looks kind of like one. I mean, there's something down there. Much worse. When I look through the windshield. Yeah. I just don't want to, like, run into nothing. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have a harder time just making sense of what I'm looking at. Right. Ah, tree! To the left. More to the left, more to the left. You're gonna be run into a pile of wood. Oops, sorry. Yeah, there's like a pile of firewood over here. Did, did we hit it? Nope. Well, I'm gonna hit a tree. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Okay. I hope I'm not ripping his yard up. Chris, I, th I think we went the wrong way. Him, yeah, I see him. That's his, those are angry. Those are angry hips. Are you tearing my yard up? All right, I'm going to go back and park this. Yeah. Well, 
experience. No. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. It's like a Disney ride. You actually survived. Like, oh, boy. A real jungle cruise. You made it back to your house, safe and sound to your families. Way to go, everyone. Yeah, what a so great good. ride. I can't see it. Well, I'll get to go backwards. And then this goes down all the way. So uh, something I forgot to bring up earlier on, if you're riding with friends with extra vehicles, uh, more side-by-sides, you definitely want to try to black out the back uh, brake lights as much as you can. The, if you don't, the people behind you will be blinded by the light that's being put off. So it's sort of up to you guys to sort of figure out how much light you want to block, how much light you don't want to block. Uh, you can block it all if you want, or just leave some out. The other thing is, when you're driving where there's no canopy, no tree coverage, it's, in my opinion, it's probably a little easier because you're getting a lot of light. But as soon as you transition into that canopy going into the woods, the, the light sort of starts to disappear. You don't have that amb ambient light from the, the stars and the, the moon, all that kind of stuff. It does make it really difficult. Knowing the terrain helps. The, one of the things I talked about earlier when when TLD showed up was hey really knowing the train during the daytime because it's going to help and then I sort of brought up some of these uh, tips I guess and then it's sort of it's easy to say during the day but until you experience it at night it's pretty hard and I offered them for me to go drive it because I'm familiar with the train but now uh, they sort of uh, got scared and said no. So I'm coming in to defend our honor and also kind of talk about it that was a lot more challenging than I thought. Like you really brought it up earlier where you said, hey, come get familiar with, with the layout and everything else. And the biggest thing we found is when we started driving, we didn't know where we were, were we still on the path? We had to kind of get out and check, the, check where we were. So it really shows if you don't know where you're going, you're just gonna go into an unknown territory under night vision, good luck. Like that, that's really challenging. Now, something else I noticed was the windshield. Is that something you're familiar with too? It was a lot harder to see through? It is, that's something that, Typically when I drive, I will pull it off. However, sort of the experience of driving, you can't pull a glass window out. So it's a good, the, right, it's sort of a good reference point. I, I get that your body might be a little bit further away. Um, however, in this particular side-by-side, -side, it's the same tempered glass like a regular vehicle. The, and, and they're all gonna see it in the footage too. We talked about it a bunch where there was just a little bit less light transmission. Yep. So where we have to lean out of the vehicle, we could suddenly see really well, but you know, if we looked through the glass, it was a lot more difficult, particularly when we turned on any strobes or light, like we turned on a light and then leaned out and it came back in and just blinded everybody in the vehicle. Yeah, and something I've never tried just because I, I've not made any investment, I would imagine uh, some sort of IR light that shines uh, that is mounted somewhere on the front would probably help tremendously. Um, on being able to see stuff. Yeah, Jason even mentioned when we were driving to you, like how useful it would be to use, kind of like what we talked about in the tools and helmets yep. video, using your IR light from your weapon system to just punch down through those tunnels. Mark, hey, hey the way you want to go is that way, I can see it. You could use that light in the IR to see it. But man, it, it was a challenge. Um, so I really do appreciate it. It was awesome having us come out here and learn this. It was a lot harder than I thought. Uh, if you guys want to come out here, I'm sure Jawless Hog will, will teach you too. And and. <laughs> scare the wits out of you out here in the woods. So it was really cool to go through all this night vision stuff and we learned so much. I think we wanna kinda of go through our thoughts on each of the different things we learned. The main one I think was a takeaway for me was from the task lights and things like that. Learning how they all worked was cool, but a pivotal thing we started to learn as we went through was just because we had the technology or had it on our helmet, didn't necessarily mean we had to use it. There were sometimes we would come to doors, I would turn on the floodlight and, and really the IR illuminator on my weapon system would have been a lot better to use. So a lot of that stuff I think is kind of instagram -y the more we've actually used it. Yeah, and I really liked how Blue kind of highlighted that when he showed us, hey, this is, look, look, turn on your nods. This is what it looks like with me not using a task light, just punching out with my weapon IR illuminator and how much more effective that was in some of the situations we ran into. Um, so for me, the kind of the, probably the most fun and the biggest takeaway for me was the driving under nods piece. Um, especially when we went from kind of the ambient light to under the canopy of the trees, it was total darkness. I mean, it really was, 
even with some some really good quality night vision setups that we had, very limited on what you could see. When you try to use an IR illuminator, that windshield just bounced it right back to you and made it even worse. So I think if we were to get more into that, it would be effective to have a, a IR illuminator mounted to the outside of the vehicle to light up your pathway. That would probably be really beneficial and would work really well. And something we kind of talked about off camera too is how realistic also is driving under night vision. So that's one of those like, would you really do that? Would you really have a special setup just for that? And, and that's up to you, but either way, you'd need to practice that and get really proficient in it because it's definitely a skill set. So overall, this was a great time with the Jawless Hog guys. Just a big thanks to them for letting us come out and train with them and really helping us learn all this stuff. Uh, another big thanks to Nocturne for letting us use all the night vision we had today with the Tanto and the Daisho Bridge along with the Manicore R. Big thanks to OpsCore for all the helmet setups that we were using. Big thanks to Princeton Tech for letting us use the Charge X, MPLS, and all the other setups so we can compare things and see how they actually work. One big shout out I wanna give also is to Brown Bear for those first person recorders. If you wanna record your night vision adventures, make sure to look out Brown Bear. That's the NVGRs that we're using um, to get all the footage that we're using for all this stuff today too. So I hope this video is helpful and, and whatever it is that you plan on doing in the night vision world, it was definitely, no pun intended, illuminating for me. Uh, I hope this is as entertaining to you guys as it was to us learning it. And uh, yeah, I want to say a bit, huge thanks to our Patreons, our YouTube subscribers, making all this stuff possible. Huge shout out to anyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below. Let us know what you think would be a great tool to learn under night vision. We'll go check it out. All right, everyone. Take care. We're out. Uh, remind me not to be down in that part of the basement by myself again. That's fantastic. Don't know what that sound was. Hopefully it caught on the camera. <laughs>